right, back at MJ Unpacked, Mita Unshackled, here with one of our hosts at MJ Unpacked, Wendy. Hello. So happy to be here. How are you doing? (sighs) Friday, uh, MJ Unpacked, doing great. Uh, Love the energy. Love the people. I just moderated my first panel. How was that? I got great feedback. Uh, so it was good. People felt like they were heard and understood and had the chance. Oh, come a little closer there. Oh, closer. Yes. Um, I had the chance to hear from others that have walked in their footsteps and also had a chance to realize they said it was comforting. It was comforting because they realized sometimes you feel like you're in a silo and you're doing all the things and it was confirming and comforting that they're doing the right things and that this is happening, these struggles, these challenges, the nuances. Uh, all the things that pull us into the cannabis industry are real, and they don't have to li- be alone so they could gain information and knowledge. And But I really, the comfort, it felt comforted. And Wendy, <laughs> tell us who you are and what you do for MG Unpacked. I am Wendy. I am the real Wendy. The uh, real Wendy. Wendy Campbell. Wendy. Uh, there's a girl, uh, Lauren. She's nice. Oh. There is a fake Wendy. Hashtag not Wendy. Check <laughs> it out. Check it out. Hashtag, Hashtag not, not Wendy. Yeah. Oh, I think I've seen that on yeah, LinkedIn. See? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's so a thing. It is a thing. Um, I, I'm the VP of sales. I was the first salesperson besides George. So I will do anything that we need, but that's the title, VP of sales. Uh, and I'm responsible for engaging with our community and finding those brands. I mean, we're educating many outside of California, honestly, I think. Um, brands, if you haven't been to California, if you look at the landscape of uh, all the other trade shows in our industry, they're not brand focused, right? They're not retailer focused. They're ancillary, they're supply side, which is an extremely important part of the ecosystem. Uh, and, you know, it's not going away. But I think. Uh, you know, I give our George a hard time about what the growth of his involvement with MJ Biz in 2014, 2017. I think we're meeting the moment, the market's moment now with MJ Unpacked, that we are going to see the proliferation of brands and retailers wanting to engage in trade event that is focused on them, caters to them, eliminates the noise for them, brings in the professionals that we do here that are on the same level, qualified, and they can really talk about their business with their peers and not be bombarded with right. a bunch of nonsense. And the future is brands, brands, brands. Yeah. I mean, you know, the supply chain structure, cultivators, manufacturers, dispensaries, delivery, distribution, et cetera, will always be important. But brands, 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 even just at what you're, I'm, as you're talking, I'm reflecting upon Jenny, mm-hmm. a New York yeah. processor, manufacturer, and a brand owner who is sitting right here in this chair a few minutes ago, yep. and I was thinking to myself, you hear the passion in her voice, George, when she was talking about Jenny? Yes. And then yes. she has a processor license. Okay? So it's that passion that's going to drive Jenny forward. You know, the processor's license, it is what it is. It's a brick and mortar, this is this. It's not going to change much. The the And it has things to do. But the brand has a life of its own that can expand throughout the universe. You know what I'm saying? That's her child. And that's what's exciting about the brands and the long-term development of the brands and how they have to develop in an intrastate market, heading into interstate market. Currently, with all the structures and the rules and regulations, it's very complicated for them. But that's one of the things about MG Impact. They can come here and talk to and learn from peers yeah. about how that works. And, you know, five years from now, we're going to be here at MG Impact, and we're going to be talking about navigating interstate commerce, navigating, you know, we're going to be talking about the big, big changes and it's going to be all the brands getting to get together and learning about how things happen. And if it doesn't, if interstate commerce doesn't happen, then they're going to be meeting partners in other states and stuff. And that's, you know, like there was a few Arizona brands, for example, a bunch of California brands here and stuff. And Jenny was the person that they needed to meet. You know, but of course now they can meet her at home if they didn't come. <laughs> but we don't release these until after MG Unpacked, so just come to MG Unpacked next time. Uh, well, oh. you know, I, you're highlighting what the panel that I had earlier today. It was about how to um, keep your margins, right. and we had California, Massachusetts, Oregon, and um, two. Ca- yeah, Massachusetts, Oregon, two California brands, one of them being in 10 states, multi-state operator. 
and we were talking about the the brand of uh, skew rationalization and going back to Jenny's because Jenny's is an exhibitor here. She's also a party sponsor that we had in the law in the suite, and she's a speaker. She's doing an AMA, and she's got a great story. And we were talking about that brand as you build the Jenny's brand that you can try at home. Uh, what do you do to those underperforming SKUs? And I think that tying into your conversation about brands, 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 and where the industry is going is really there's a level of sophistication that even if you love your brand, there might be a product or a product line or a brand in your portfolio that no longer is performing. And that was part of our conversation of sometimes you have to let go of something that you really love. Um, and going back to do I focus on only my brand because it's New York and I'm new now? Or do I look at the opportunity that I have to support others and wear two different hats, the, the designer of Jenny's and, and, and the owner and, and, of the process? And Jenny and I had a wonderful conversation, and she got it. Like, she gets it. You become two people. Yeah. No, I heard you guys chatting you, you about just, it. And, 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 and there's nothing wrong with that. No. You know, and because it's just two different businesses, two different business models. It happens to be that this is the way that the world is set up. You know, it's like raising two children. I'm going to have a boy who's going to go out there and destroy things and alter the universe and do what boys do. And I'm going to have a girl who's going to go over here and care for things. And I'm going to raise them both at the same time. And they're going to be, have different purposes. Yeah. You, know, and you that teach was... them this. You teach your boy to destroy. And you teach your girl to care. <laughs> oh, is that, is that, uh, isn't that what happens? I don't know. I think my dad taught me to destroy. Maybe. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but I like that you said, right? Like, come on. Like, but I like that he put it up there and he gave it to me to like do something with it. Yeah. That goes back to the panel. An Oregon operator, Diane from Rebel Spirit, talked about her number of years in business and they still remain cash flow positive. And some of the things about saving your margin, and we start, she talked about everything has to be working for you. Like, to, you need the two. You need the boy and the girl, not necessarily have a them or a they. I'm not going to care. But if you have access to creating revenue, and profitability for your organization, then you need to utilize it at every turn in cannabis because you're going to need that. And often in state markets, I, I love this growth that we're going to be kind of early last year, right on time, we think, this year. Imagine 2024 MJ Impact back here. Uh, we're going to see this evolution of the brand in New York. And hopefully by bringing the knowledge that we have from you know all over, we can talk about Wear the two hats. Be the boy and the girl. Realize this is not over in three months or 36 months. It's 10, 15, 20. When is that? You know, we might get to talk about interstate commerce sooner rather than later. I have hope. I think about it every day. Is it six weeks, six days, six months, six years? But get sure. smart and learn to run both ships and utilize every piece of your business in some way, shape, or form. And do that by creating these relationships and getting to know these people and meet the Jennies and realize, oh, I can connect these people. That's what we want to do at MJ Impact, and I think that we're going to keep getting to do it and, and uh, have fun doing it together. Yeah, so what, what, uh, what is next for MJ Impact? Isn't there something in December, uh, October, or Detroit? Yep, that's big news. I mean, it's been on the website. I've told a few people, you know, we're spreading it today for sure. MJ Impact, our fall event, um, October 10th, 11th, and 12th in Detroit at the Motor City Casino. Doesn't that just sound wonderful? Yeah, right? Um, and there are a lot of people I've spoken to are like, I've never been to Detroit. Well, we're giving you a reason to go to Detroit. Who doesn't want to go to Detroit? There's something for everybody uh, about America in Detroit. Um, and I'm guessing they have good weed. I can't wait to find out. I like how she's in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we're excited about it. Uh, October, Detroit. And then we'll be back here next April, back in New York, here at the Hilton 2024. And who knows what, you know, might spark in between now and then. That's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> so what, what, else, uh, what else do you want to share about MJ Impact or about yourself or about what you might be looking for out there in the world? I know we got a 2 o'clock photo yeah. shoot over there that we got all got to get to. Oh. No, not me. You guys do. I didn't know. What? Ladies photo shoot. Oh, yeah. Blunt yeah. brunch. Oh, yes. Is that your 2 o'clock? It is. Good. Okay. Oh, 
he's good at this. Um, so <laughs> I, I'm her scheduler as well. You she used just the realized app? she was double booked. <laughs> did you book? The, did you use the app? The MJ Impact no, app? No, no. I, I, I keep track of it. <laughs> Everyone, every, he's keeping track of it here, not on, not on his app. Every once in a while, a squirrel catches a nut. <laughs> uh, gen, gen, um, generally, I have no idea what's going on. I like to keep it that way because no. the more I find out what's going on, then the more I realize how ugly things right. are. Right, listen. And I, I find cockroaches yeah. controlling things behind oh, the scenes. I see your LinkedIn so. post. I'm always like, or if uh, I post something, he comments. I was like, I was waiting for someone to say something. I'm glad it was you. Uh, right? Hey, I'm what glad. do you think of my LinkedIn post, though? Am I good? I love you. They're good? They're good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, and I think the thing that I want to say that I was sharing with Destiny um, before I sat down, Mita equals Arizona to me. And, you know, that's what's next for me and what's next for MJ Impact. And we're continuing to educate our peers and in our industry that we are the only national event. Right. Uh, exclusively for brands and retailers, as well as accredited investors. We're also the only event that qualifies our attendees. There is a number of people who don't qualify and they get upset. Um, but we have qualification for a reason because we like that curated audience. We want to, you know, decision makers with purchasing power. We're doing that, but on a national level. Like, what does Wendy do? What is the VP of sales? I'm responsible for a national trade show in cannabis. It focused on brands and retailers. And we're educating them. We need to meet them. So where do you go to do that if it's not MJ Impact? Well, you're lucky to have friends like you um, who have what I believe the premier, most connected, most loving, best community that I've had a chance to be involved with. So when I think about... Arizona cannabis. Oh, I know a lot of the players, right? Because I came to Mita. So Mita to me means Arizona, Arizona cannabis. And it's just remarkable what you've done and have a chance to see the growth. And I mean, you're the circle of influence for us. You matter to us. You're important. You're a strategic partner. And I'm excited that we get to work with you and know your brands. Uh, and that's what I'm going to be doing more of. I want to come back to Mita. Um, we need to get out to the Midwest. So anybody watching, like, and if you know of anything or you know of anything, like what's going on in the Midwest between now and September? Are you going to the flower show uh, to Jason Bellows thing in Massachusetts? I recommend that. Hmm. Well, so did Jason or Eric. He talked to me about it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I think, I think yeah. there's going to be a, a wonderful selection of Massachusetts, Northeast mm -hmm. oriented brands, retailers and all kinds of people there. And I think it'll be a good community gathering. Yeah, I expect no less. I mean, if you are a brand, I have this conversation every day. If you're a brand in California, um, I've been to almost every um, Hall of Flowers. And even at Dope, we were the media sponsor the first yeah. year, 2018. Dope, do like a dope show? Dope magazine. Okay, yeah. yeah. No, I didn't know they did. Yeah, Hall of Flowers. But there's a bunch of no, but uh, that, uh, that, conferences, that, yeah. Yeah, that concept of brands and retailers and order writing. Yeah. Um, I think that the Flower Expo in Massachusetts, I feel like Nikan also, Nikan Boston, it has, is, it, that Nikan Boston has a yeah. number of brands and retailers too. Yeah, and, and I like Nikan, but I think it's more uh, uh, sphere, global, what's the word, all-encompassing? Uh, yeah, you know it's, it's, it's not focused uh, on just brands and retailers. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, and, and Media USA, as we focus more and more on brands and brands and brands, you know, we want to focus more on shows like yours and Hall Flowers, and we'll see what Jason's turns into. It's a first thing type yeah. thing. Oh, first um, things are always a good thing. You uh, figure it out. And other brand-related shows that bring the brands in. And for whatever they're bringing the brands in, the purpose is connecting with retailers. That's great. That's important. Educating them about brand migration. That's great. That's important. Mm -hmm. There's a lot, all kinds of interests that right. brands have, and we want to be a little bit more involved with that because oh. they, 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 you know, just like uh, this industry is going to be developing over years, but brands ultimately have the best interests of the consumers and patients in mind, and they want innovation, they want access, they want competition. They they're okay with competition. <laughs> well, and, it's retail shelf space number one. <laughs> yeah, but you know, and eventually, I see Media USA being the first group that works with a company like maybe Amazon, because Amazon wants manufacturer to consumer, farm to patient. What do the patients and the consumers want? They want to be accessed their cannabis as easily as possible from their home. And what is that? Is? That is Amazon. That's well, the model yeah. that we need to get to. Tested, fine, mm -hmm. at some point in this, that supply chain, but 
you know, tested before it leaves, as it leaves the manufacturing center, the, the cultivation center, it might take 100 years. I see. It, it may. Yeah. Okay. But, I'm, I'm, but I think that's why we're here for it because we believe that's the access we want. That is right? the access. Ultimately, but I, I ultimately, if you're not building an, an industry around the interests of the patients and right. the consumers, are you doing the right thing? I mean, imagine saying to all the patients and consumers out there, you know what? We like your idea, but I got to protect my spot in the supply chain yeah. as a as a cultivator or as a retailer, you know, because um, uh, that's best for me and my financial <laughs> interests. So, you know, be vocal about that. Get your organization together. Talk about it loudly. And Media USA is going to do what we believe is in the best interest of the patients, consumers. And we certainly know is in the best interest of the brands. Yeah. And oh no, brands and retailers—they're yeah. the lot. They're the heroes in the journey. That's what you know. Our kind of our take on it at MG Impact too yeah. uh, is that they're the last piece that go together t- before that consumer. And that consumer, whether it's a legacy consumer or old school OG, whatever you are, if you you are, versus the can of curious and those that we might not ever touch. How are we, that relationship between the brand and the retailer, the product, the customer journey, the shopping experience, the the products uh, fitting niche consumers and not just being standardized. Yeah. You know, the product evolution that you mentioned. And then the packaging to the consumer and that experience of the entire cons- customer journey. Yeah. Brands and retailers own it and they need to be working together as well. And you guys do a great job curating that. And of course, you know, there's all kinds of groups here and our political stuff has got nothing to do with MG Unpacked. And one day it might be, you know, here 15 years from now, we're here educating 500 brands how to navigate the direct to consumer laws yeah. that were just passed by the United right. States of America. Right. Yeah. I love that hope. And that that might change. Anything's so, possible. But if you don't come to MG Unpacked, you're not going to learn about what's happening and what is possible. And what when that anything becomes something that was impossible before, but it's now possible because that anything happened. If you're not here, you won't be learning anything at all. Yeah, well, you're going to be <laughs> here. Kidding. I was trying right? to make it as complicated as possible. Yeah, he did. But what he's saying is come to MG Impact, and yes. I'm saying you're going to be here. And he's saying we're going to be here for it, too. So And find Wendy on LinkedIn, <laughs> and we'll see you at the next Meet Unshackled. On the next MGM pack. Thank you. Love you guys.